I'm not sure if you can hear it, but there is a fly buzzing around. I had it's there and then it's there. And I'm not even going to chase it, and I'll get to that in a bit. My plan was to talk about something else, but now, because the fly has sort of jumped or buzzed into my business, I might as well say a few things about my relationship with flies. Is that I don't really have too much to do with them. When I was a kid, I once uh, had a phase where I wanted to go fishing, and so I had this thing of maggots, and of course those maggots turned into flies, and it seemed that children of that age, maybe boys, I'm not sure, find it interesting to remove the wings of flies, so I spent afternoons taking the wings off. I didn't know that was not kind to the flies. I was very young and curious. Um, I used to try and catch them from time to time. The, 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 the blue bottles or green bottle flies, the sort of metallic blue and metallic green ones. I found them fascinating. I also found the fact that they had to do this a lot very fascinating. I remember sometimes being sick in bed when I was asthmatic, then so I'd often be in summer months, I'd be lying there and I'd be looking up and I see these flies are sort of doing this weird thing and all that. But the thing that this particular fly, why I'm going to talk about um, fly or my experience with a fly, is that once upon a time, once in my life, I, there was a fly and I was sort of there at my drawing table and this fly was just buzzing around. I just sort of did this with a ruler, just more go away. I didn't plan to hit it, yet I hit the fly. And it's almost as if I've spent the rest of my life trying to replicate that move. Constant failure. Uh, last summer, or last uh, early spring, because there's this moment, like now, when the first flies come in and they come, the windows open, they know how to come in, they never know how to get out. And I was trying to work on something and this fly was just buzzing and buzzing and buzzing. And it really began to work on my nerves. I should have been able to just say, okay, it's just a fly. There's nothing new about that, but I wanted to focus and this buzzing was, it was just buzzing. So I decided, okay, this fly is going to go. This fly is a goner. So I get a newspaper, roll it up, and try to hit the fly. <laughs> and I found out that I'm just not as fast as, I don't know if I was ever really fast, but I'm certainly slow. Uh, I've reached an age where the speed is all in the mind, you know, the body just does not agree to join in. So I'm running and I'm trying my best shot and the fly was always just gone and gone and gone. And so I decided, okay, we're, we're taking things to a new level. Rather than stick with a rolled up newspaper, I'm going to get a dishcloth. So I went and got a dishcloth and decided, okay, this here, there's no way the fly will escape. And I'm running around like an idiot trying to get the fly. I can't get the fly. All that is happening is that I'm straining muscles in my body that usually are left to relax. But today, on that particular day, I was just in a rage. And the more I couldn't get the fly, the more I wanted to get the fly. I didn't want it to go out of the window. I wanted that fly gone. I failed. And uh, fortunately, quickly came to my senses and said, what are you doing? You know, sometimes you can look at yourself and think, what is a man of this age doing, behaving in this manner? You know, it happens. Flies can do that. And that was a fly just then that um, decided to get involved and try and mess things up. We can't have that, can we?